So here's a quick look at the one stack of cages that's in our living room. We're starting at the bottom here. This is Kirill. He's our adult male Russian rat snake, and he's the father of all the babies we've produced so far. He is a very friendly boy. Um, <laughs> he just ate yesterday, so I'm not gonna bug him too much, but he is always out. I, I can't remember the last time he was hiding, so. He's a lot of fun to have in our living room. He is disappearing. So, uh, this is a temporary cage for him. This is just a four by two by two um, that needs to be filled up quite a bit more yet, but um, we were just trying to get him into some space as quick as we could. So that is, that's his cage. Oh, there he is. That's his cage for now. And moving up, we have a special little clown here. This is Nira. Nira is our uh, yellow rat snake. And she is probably one of the funniest snakes we own. Um, this cage stack is actually facing our living room couch. So when we sit there, um, Nira is always watching us. She's always got her chin up on a branch or um, she likes to just stick her neck out like a giraffe and just watch whatever's happening. So she is one of our most entertaining snakes. She doesn't like being held, but that's fine. Um, not all of our snakes are willing and happy to be handled, but um, we just kind of go by their behavior and don't push them. If they don't like being handled, then um, if we get the feeling that they might just need a bit of work and will calm down with time, then we'll uh, put in some effort. But if we just get the sense that they just hate it, um, we won't bother pushing them. So that's her cage. Uh, I believe she's staying here permanently. Um, this, is, this is again a four by two by two. She's a little less than four feet long. And uh, I would like to add a bunch more branches in here. Um, some uh, ceiling hides, some more arboreal options. But yeah, so she's staying here in our living room with us. And then moving up, we have a special girl. This is, this is Nuwata. She's um, our younger, female Baird's rat snake and she's the mother to the clutch that we had this year and as you can see she looks fantastic already she only laid uh, maybe a week ago a little over a week ago she is <laughs> very hungry right now she um she ate really well right up to laying and barely lost any weight but she's voracious right now so we're giving her lots of little meals to build her back up but she's looking great um i can't remember our plan again if she's staying here or not but um again she's a little under four feet long and uh four by two by two cages is the size that we would put her in um, i'm not sure if she's staying here in the living room or not plans change all the time but she's Certainly seems to enjoy the movement and the busyness of the living room, which not all snakes do. So if she's liking it here, then chances are she'll probably stay here. And last but not least, if we can get her, up there is Jazz. And now if I can get her attention, she will definitely come down here. She's a little bit crazy. Here she comes. Whoa, there she comes. There's Jazz. Um, so Jazz is our female Japanese rat snake. She's turning uh, two this year. 
And unfortunately, I don't think I'll be catching her colors really well with just my phone, but she's quite blue already. She's got like a bluish tint in her head and her neck. That's really beautiful. <laughs> she's also absolutely nuts for food, as you can see. But yeah, this is Jazz's cage right now. This is not her permanent cage. She's gonna get a bigger one, um, a taller one for sure. Japanese rat snakes are super active. Um, both of ours are just climbing all the time. So they're getting a little bit more height, even though they are fairly small snakes. Um, the Kunisha Island locality typically stays around four feet long, um, but they're one of those species where any extra space you give them will be used for sure. And our individuals are especially active, so be upgrading her in time. And Niwata is trying to kill me because she's so hungry, even though she ate yesterday. Look at that face. This is why we love rat snakes, honestly, because when we sit here in our living room and we look over at this stack, I'll see if I can get a good shot. So backing into the couch, um, when we sit here and we look at this stack, we see all four of them on a regular basis. Krill is back basking. I apologize for the quality of this video. I decided to do it on the fly because all four of them were sitting here being so cute. But yeah, so this is another one of our stacks of cages. They're all four by two by two. And they'll all eventually house um, rat snakes, smaller rat snakes, four feet or under. And that is about it for this video. She is so cute. <laughs> it's so crazy. Oh. <laughs> These are the snakes that are never hiding. <laughs> Anyways, so I'll be doing some more tours of some of the other individual stacks for sure. Um, they're obviously not in entire reptile rooms, they're just kind of scattered throughout our house. And yeah, so that's it for this video and I will do a couple more tours here and there in the next couple of weeks.